Howdy out there, Captain315 here. I told you, you never know what might come up on this feed. So here's a different one. It's not tractors. Wow. It's not Briggs and Stratton engines. It's not home improvement, whatever. Today, uh, as I start this new adventure in outboard motors and little fishing boats, uh, this is a early 2000s, 2006 to be exact, 9.9 .9 Yamaha four-stroke. Uh, F 9.9. The guys say, well, put 15 horse carburetor on them. Blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, we're going to skip all of that. Okay. Let's get into the differences in these carburetors. Uh, factory OEM 9.9 .9 Yamaha. Say what you want. It's a $41 Chinese F 15 carburetor. Okay. From what I can tell, and maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but it appears that everything internally in these engines is exactly the same little discrepancy in the exhaust possibly um but i can tell you from an engine guy standpoint that is not enough to feed 323 cc's turning 5,000 plus rpms all day long okay sure looks to me like yamaha took a 15 horse and choked it down to a 99 with this small carburetor okay so the major difference look here that throat this is 460 thousandths this is 800 thousandths a lot more air okay let's get into the small differences helen keller can see that okay uh small differences factory yamaha has a nice brass choke plate chickenese one has crappy aluminum whatever oem yamaha float plastic non-adjustable i suppose you could heat it up if you wanted to move things a little bit if it even needs it kind of digging this it can actually be adjusted it's it's a little metal strap on there uh that's kind of nice uh, other differences obviously the 15 horse has an accelerator pump set up the 99 does not main jets 99 approximately 28 thousandths 15 horse, approximately 38 thousandths. Uh, pilot jet were inconclusive because I could not get the pilot out of the 9.9, .9, which is part of the reason I may be having issues with it and am going to scrap it. Uh, your linkage, choke linkage mainly, may need to be changed. Not a big deal. I think anybody can handle that kind of stuff. If we really get into the nitty gritty, the little emulsion tubes, this is where your fuel comes up from the main jet and feeds into the center of the Venturi in the carburetor. The 9.9, .9, if you can see here, see the big holes up there at the top? The 15 horse does not have those, okay? The holes are kind of placed different, so on and so forth. Obviously, the 9.9 .9 is taller, so it can get up into the center of the Venturi. Um, basically what that would do this is where your air is going to come in and mix with a with a direct fuel um so having larger holes here is going to lean it out and also bring it on bring the main jet on and the fuel on a little bit later uh, we're not going to get into drilling and messing with all this kind of stuff some of you may some of you may not want to mess with that um another interesting thing i noticed let me set this together Main jet location. Your pilot jet is under this small tube right here. It screws in there with a little flat screwdriver. This is where your emulsion tube goes in. That's where your main jet would sit. Uh, this 9.9, .9, look where the main jet is. The main jet sits over the top of the pilot, and your pickup tube has the plug over the top. On the 15-horse carb, it's like most other carburetors uh, that you'll see out there for small engines. The main jet is directly below the emulsion tube, and the plug is over here. No, it's not built incorrectly or anything. The thread sizes are actually different. Um, this main jet from the 15 has the big threads. The plug has the small threads. 
vice versa on the 9.9. Kind of crazy. Uh, that is not a mistake. I'm sure they did that for a reason. Uh, we're not going to get into that much stuff. Ah, pardon me, Copenhagen. Um, folks, I don't see any reason why, because I know there are a lot of you out there say, I am not putting a $40 Chinese carburetor on a $2,000 boat engine. Uh, guys won't do that on tractors. Um, do what you want. For, you know, $100 plus up to $300 for marine stuff um, for an OEM carburetor versus a Chinese one, I'm going to roll the dice. I've gotten bad ones before. You're out $20 to $40 and you can return it and you're going to get a good one. It is what it is. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Uh, for instance, you want to take your 9.9, you want to keep that $300 OEM carburetor. I don't know why you couldn't just bore that Venturi out if you're the machining type or have a friend that does it. Take that out to 800 thousandths because the throat size, your butterflies are all identical and they are at 910 thousandths. Your inlet sides are the same out here at the surfaces. Those are at inch 275. Uh, if you do that, if you bore this out, I don't think it's a matter of boring it out and changing the jet. I would probably go ahead and get a F-15 emulsion tube, an F-15 main jet, and an F-15 plug so that they're in the correct location. Um, accelerator pump. Obviously, your 9.9 .9 does not have one. The boss is there to put that pump linkage. Your pump shooter in the back of the 15 comes up through the bottom right here the boss is there for it you could you could go ahead and install it you may be able to get away with not having an accelerator pump but i would imagine at low rpms if you go to goose it you may get a sneeze out of it um if you want to do this i i don't see why you couldn't convert the 9.9 .9 over and try it worst case scenario you got to buy an F-15 float bowl with an accelerator pump and hook that linkage up. But at the bare minimum, bore this out, change the emulsion tube, change the main jet and the plug, put them where they belong in the F-15, which is the main jet, I'm sorry, directly below the emulsion tube. Um, it would definitely be worth a try. It would be interesting. Something else I want to touch on real quick that's basic carburetor stuff. You've all heard guys say, well, I know this carburetor on my engine. It don't matter what it is. It's a small block Chevy. It's a, a six-cylinder Ford. It's a small engine. Well, the carburetor's too big, so I'll just jet it down, and then it'll be okay. All right. An engine is going to, no matter what the carburetor is on it, if this carburetor is on a 300cc engine, it's going to pull X amount of air and fuel. If you put this on a 400cc, a 600cc engine, it is going to pull even harder on that Venturi, which is going to be a stronger signal, which is going to bring more fuel through that main jet. Now, this is basics. We're not getting real picky and finicky here. So when guys say, oh, I'll just jet it down or I'll just jet it up. If you have to change main jet size in a carburetor more than a few thousandths of an inch, you've got something wrong somewhere. You can take that one to the bank. Um, again, with the inconclusive um, pilot jet at idle, it, 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 this you know your your Venturi is not doing anything at idle. Your main jet's not doing anything at idle. If the engine size is the same, it should require the same amount of fuel. If not, you've obviously got your idle mixture screw. You could just richen it up a little bit. But I would be willing to bet that these pilots are exactly the same size. Uh, you could even step up to a bigger engine or a hopped up engine. Um, chances are it's going to draw harder on the idle circuit as well. And it's just going to pull the amount of fuel that it needs. Does that really make sense? All right. Anyhow, folks, stay tuned. Uh, this F-15 carb will be going on the little 14 foot John boat. Uh, with the 9.9 .9 carb, I was, I managed to get 17 miles per hour out of it. Uh, we're going to find out what it does with the F-15. So stay tuned.